What's up, YouTube? Um, just got home on my dinner break, and I got some um, unboxings to do. It looks like I have a uh, some of the more Walt Disney treasures that I posted before. Like I said, I'm kind of running behind on them, but it's okay. I am running behind, yes, but this is better than not having any. Because I've been wanting to watch some Mickey Mouse and Pluto. Donald Duck's expensive, so I can't watch Donald Duck, sadly. Now I'm some music, but you know, this should be fine. So first off, I have a Mickey Mouse Volume 2 in living color. This should be interesting. I'll probably watch some of these this weekend, because I'm off all weekend. But then I got a Mickey Mouse Black and White Volume 2. And I have a The Complete Pluto. Volume 1. So, well, um, since I have Pluto in my hand, I guess we'll start off with the complete Pluto. Um, I watched the other ones I got. They're pretty good. Um, Oswald is highly entertaining. So glad Disney decided to get that back. Got that back. Um, the, the futuristic one is kind of fun. Definitely, definitely fun. I like the, I really enjoyed the, Walt Disney's plan for Disney. Well, again, I'm saying it's sort of worse to keep in mint condition, but look, damn it, alright. But oh well. I can't complain. I'm not going to complain. It's not worth the headache and aggravation of complaining. You know, I've thought about, oh, my cases are dented, but, you know, whatever. All these are dented. I think all, my, all these cases I've gotten so far are dented. So, what can you do? What can you do? I mean, you can complain, throw a fit, do whatever you want, but you know what? When it comes down to it, it's just a case. It's just a metal case. It's extra casing to cover up the plastic casing inside. So it's okay. It's okay. Um, I wasn't going to get these originally, but then I was like, you know what? I really, like I said, I really wanted to watch some. I was just watching Disney. I was like, well, we don't see any, you know, classic Disney cartoons anymore in Disney. I want to watch some classic Disney. So, I decided to order a few of these. So, we are going to see what comes in. The complete Gerudo stand in a couple spots, but it's okay. It's okay. I like to keep my stuff in mint condition, too. But, you know, these are getting hard to find, so I'm not going to really complain too much. I wish I, like I said, I wish I'd bought these when they first came out, all these. Some of them are really expensive now, and some of them are not too. Uh, some of them you just can't find. They're not expensive, you just can't find them. So, I'm trying to get this stupid sticker off. Stupid sticker. Damn it. So, um, and like I said in my previous video, D23 sells one piece drawing them, which I'd love to get. They have the complete, all of them except like Zoro's on it, and something else is not on it. Um, I don't remember what the other one was that wasn't on it, but it's okay. This is like five hundred dollars. So, first off, this is Pluto's casing, nice shiny casing. With I like some of these that are like, like printed on the back, and some of them are just kind of sticky on the back. So whatever. First, then we open up Pluto. Now, metal casing. So you have the cover. Um, I don't know. Some, I think it's something. Uh, all right. So we got the complete Pluto. Walt Disney. Presents Pluto's Bone Trouble. Um, doesn't look like this one comes with Disney movie, movie reward, which is okay. So we got one of these. This is kind of cool. Oh, well, card. Um, this is number 28,871 of 110,000. So there really isn't many of these. And then a the little pamphlet of what's in here. So it doesn't look like there's a movie rewards in this one, which is okay. I was hoping there was. But this is definitely Pluto. So, no, I like Pluto. Pluto's always fun. There's disc one. And there's disc two. Uh, this takes you from 1920. I don't know what year. Looks like 28 to 42. 30 to 47, if I'm wrong. It was the Academy of Legend, uh, Legend of Paul. So, this should be fun to watch. I will definitely be watching this later. So, that's the complete Pluto. Now we get on to the man himself, Mickey Mouse. So, let's open Mickey Black and White Volume 2. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool to do, black, do a black, the black and white one. 
I would love to see Mo Willie was on one of these, but I'm pretty sure he's not. See, but Willie's one of those cartoons that I just want to own. And I don't. It's kind of sad. Like many of you guys, like many of you guys love to own Steamboat Willie, just for the legend that it is. Nothing else, just the legend that Steamboat Willie, the cartoon is. You know, what it made cartoons today. So this is volume two. Um, this is still a pain in the ass to get the sticker off. So I don't know, lost some of the sticker, but whatever. Uh, Den it again, go figure. Go figure, 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 figure. Um, my love thing is I get some of the sticky residue off because some of the sticky residue is sticky. Because somebody was so old. When was this one time? I don't remember. Uh, doesn't say, but it's still not there. No. Sticky residue. Sticky residue actually looks like the colored Mickey. Casey may be in good condition. It's kind of nice. It's not these stupid stickers on it. All right, stickers. So. This one probably doesn't have Disney movie rewards either. Um, like I said, my Tron one, if you watch my Tron unboxings, um, there is, I have a Tron item coming from Disney movie rewards. Free shipping. 3,000 of them only made. So that's kind of cool. I can't wait to get that in. That's going to be neat. I can't wait to get that. I'm um, trying to get in here. It's a pain in my ass to get into. Jeez. I think uh, that's why. Well, that's one thing that's an issue. When they sealed it, they sealed the, the wording on the back on it. So, should have done this off camera. Come spend 20 minutes trying to unbox this thing. <laughs> Just this one. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm doing this for you guys and you guys only. Well, you know, some of you guys may not even know these things exist. Yeah. This one's being a bit harder, so anyway. I'm supposed to be eating, but I wanted to come home and break the monotony at work because we're slow as crap and I'm doing nothing pretty much. I mean pay to do nothing, which is always fun. So here we go. Finally I have the stickers off. There's the front. Again, not printed, just kind of there. We open it up, casing. And let's see what we got. We have, ah, oh, that's kind of cool. So that looks nice. Nice little card, index card thing. <sighs> Let's find the numbering on this one is, oh, this one has a high number. 175,000, 149,442 of 175,000. That one has a lot. And the pamphlet, that's kind of cool. Not really going over the pamphlet, but you know, we got the pamphlet. That's kind of cool. Um, this one has a lot, a lot more than I thought it would have, but it is a Mickey disc, so it's probably going to get hard to find anyway. So, disc one, and disc two. And yes, it was where's my lid dropping to the ground. So, that's Mickey Black and White Volume 2. So, I can't wait to watch that. This is going to watch if we can do it. Pretty sure. And it's better than so, now we're going to go to the last one of the group. Mickey in color, volume 2. This one's probably going to have a lot too, because there's volume 2. It's going to have a sticker on the top again. Damn it. Stickers are annoying as shit. <laughs> you know, I like the stickers because they keep it sealed, but oh my god, they're annoying to get off. This one has the labeling printed on the back, which is nice. Um... Decided on the simple things, future film appearances, blah blah blah. Limited series, select rare material, blah blah blah. So, this one, this casing looks a little bit better than the other ones did, which is always nice. I like to keep my casing as good, good as I can. It's kind of tough to keep these, like I said, these are metal casings, so I don't, I know they're going to get dented. So here we go. Mickey and Living Color, this is from 1939 to today. So 
I don't know when this was done. So that's how long today is. That's the casing. So this one. And there's a lot of these made too. Uh, 64,076 of 175,000. Um, this is cool. I like this because I'm a big Fantasia nut. This is awesome. I really enjoy that. That's pretty cool. I'm a big Fantasia nut. And the pamphlet. So none of these, like any of these have uh, movie reward, which is okay. So, well, I mean, people can see if there is any online when I go into the website, but for now, this contains Say the Tugboat Mickey. The little whirlwind, the little whirlwind is hysterical. Uh, oh, it does contain Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sick. The deleted animation from the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Double sick. Mickey's Christmas Carol is on here. Prince and the Pauper and Runaway Brain. This is going to be entertaining. I'm so glad Mickey's Christmas Carol is on here. And the Prince and the Pauper. This should be fun. So I'm definitely going to be watching this probably tonight. So, like I said, this one and this two. Pretty, pretty can't wait to watch these. This is gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna have some fun this week and watch this stuff. So, um, there's some other ones I haven't decided to get or not. Um, I'm more of a cartoon Disney nut than a real life movie, except for like Mary Poppins, and, you know, but still, you know. I don't like the cartoons and some of the old shows. Uh, Mickey Mouse Club was awesome back in the day. I don't like the new Clubhouse Mickey or whatever it is. It's not as amusing, in my opinion. So, yes, I just said Johnson Kelly Tom, uh, what you would call it. Um, Brittany and her lover was highly entertaining. So, anyway, so that's not too bad. 80 bucks for all those. I'm not going to complain. Some of them I when I ordered Amazon had them, and then one day by the time they were shipped, Amazon didn't have them, so that was weird. That's why it took a little bit longer than I think they were supposed to, because the original shipment had everything coming in one, and I just got my second shipment. So anyway, I'm out. Peace.